Welcome back to Go State Tune TV. We're joined now by new offensive line coach Jim Beverly. Coach Beverly, glad to have you here in the Cleveland community. Uh, first off, what have your thoughts been of the Delta State area? I know it's been about a couple weeks maybe, but what has the experience been like uh, about two weeks down here? It's been great so far. You know, we're just getting acquainted with the with the team and with the you know the media relations and 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 front office and and everybody's just been great. Uh, the staff, the whole staff, athletic staff here at Delta State. We're you know we're just proud to be a part of it. You came here with Coach Chadwell. You're friends from a long way back. You've played. You've coached together. What was he like to you? What, I mean, did he help you get into this coaching profession? What, what's Coach Chadwell been like for you? Oh, it's been great. And we were, we've known each other since 95. We came in together as freshmen at ETSU. And, and uh, you know, he was a young quarterback, you know, with stars in his eyes and, you know, an NFL arm, you know. And, uh, and we became friends there at ETSU and it just kind of just kind of blossomed throughout the years professionally. And I've had the good fortune to work with him several times. And, and I'm glad to be with him again. A little known fact, you went to the NFL Combine and at the time set a record with the bench press. You pumped it 44 times. That's a 225-pound lift. Uh, what was that experience like? Well, you know, I, I, I trained for that, you know, pretty much my entire career. But uh, um, I tied the, the then all-time NFL record 44 times. Um, you know, as a big guy, I, I kind of uh, I set the goal early in my career that, you know, at 315 pounds what I played in college at, that uh, a push-up was pretty much equal to uh, one rep 225 uh, uh, percentage-wise. So I just kind of did the calculation that if I could do 50 push-ups or 55 push-ups, I should be able to do 55, 225, 55 times. Never did get the 55 mark, uh, but, you know, I was pleased with the results and, and, you know, proud of it. All right, say tomorrow we're playing Fort Valley State, the season opener. Well, what is your goal for our offense and for your unit, the offensive line? Oh, gosh. I hope it's not tomorrow because we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, but, uh, you know, as an offensive line coach, you know, we want to be able to run the ball. We want to be able to protect quarterback uh, when we throw. And, uh, you know, we've got a mission. And our mission uh, as an offensive line most of the time is not to be noticed. You know, we're noticed when we, uh, you know, when, the, when it scores. Most time when, when offensive linemen get noticed, it's a bad thing. So we want to do our jobs and, and so we can showcase the other great athletes we have here. You know, something the fans talked to us about was when North Greenville, the playoff game here, and how even though you guys got beat, you guys played hard, there was a toughness about you. What would you like to bring to the Delta State campus that you took from North Greenville? Well, I'll tell you what, when we came in, came in here uh, with North Greenville, you know, our, our guys there, they fought hard. We knew we were up against a great, squ a great squad here, and uh, we knew we, it was David versus Goliath. So we, uh, we, tr we brought the mentality that, hey, you know what, we're going to take it to them. We're going to make them earn everything they get. And, uh, and, you know, and, and we felt we played well. We were proud of how we played. But that's what we'd like to bring here to, to Delta State here is that, is that feeling of, of toughness and that mental toughness, no matter who we're facing, that we're going to give them everything we got. We're going to make them earn everything they get. And, uh, and we're going we're gonna to get ours. My final question, maybe even just a statement, you're a book author. Your last book, Motivation for Football, that might just be something I might read at some <laughs> point before next season. Uh, what, is that, what has that experience been like as a, as a writer of books? Well, I didn't start out that way. I started out compiling information and, and uh, you know, in, in coaching, you know, you, you write playbooks every year. You know, you, you, you keep all these uh, little quotes for, for our guys to help motivate them. And, and I've always been a big fan of that myself, even as a player. And so you compile all this information, you start putting it together, and, and it almost kind of happened naturally. And you do one and, and you know, uh, you get a little notoriety and you, you like it. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's something I, I do more as a hobby, you know. Like I'm not ready to retire and just author full time because, uh, believe me, that's not going to happen. But uh, it, I think it complements what I do and it just kind of adds that, that research. I can bring that with me when I, when I talk to the guys and, and to, my, to my position group. Coach Beverly, thanks for your time, and uh, we'll see you during spring ball in a couple months. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it. That was offensive line coach Jim Beverly. We'll be back right after this on Go Statesman TV.